right, boys and girls, and welcome to Gordon Guitar. So, we have a new song here with Carly Pierce featuring Ashley McBride here. The song is called Never Wanted to Be That Girl. So, this is a country song here about um, an unhappy relationship there. So, yeah, let's start with this one. We have the capo set on the first fret. And we have a couple chords to learn here. So let's start with those. First we have the C chord. So that is third on A, second on D, open G, first B, and open E. Then we have D minor. So that is open D, second G, third B, and first E. And we have D minor 7. So that is open D, second G, first B, and first E. And what I do there, I bar the two last strings there, the B and E here on the first fret. That's my way of playing the D minor 7. Yes, and then we have the F. So you need to bar all strings now on the first fret. And the rest will be third on A, third on D, and second on G. And we have the G chord here. So that is third on E, second on A, open D, open G, third B, and third E. And the final chord will be A minor. So open A, second D, second G, first B, and open E. Yeah. So right from the start now, we need to learn a strumming pattern that will go on for the whole song here. Except for some a small part there with only one downstroke, but this is the only strumming pattern we have. And we will divide it into two parts uh, and then try to connect these two parts. So the first part, or I can say we can we can play the full strumming pattern and I'm gonna show you the first part how it sounds only so let's let's uh, show the full strumming pattern here first okay so the first part will be down down up down down up down down up down down up Down, down, up, down, down, up. Okay. And the second part will be up, down, up, down, down, up. So. Up, down, up, down, down, up. So if we connect these two parts, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, uh, it will sound like this. All right, so there we have the strumming pattern here. And there's a reason why we divide it into two parts, since we need to uh, have the first part played in some chords, only the first part, so that's why. So, if we start here with the intro, um, we have uh, the intro is about C, F, C, and F. So it goes back and forth two times there. So um, it will sound something like this because there is a melody going on there. And I can show you just a short variation of this melody. We will not go into, into depth here with this. Uh, I can just show you one, some extra cool... Uh, Cool uh, note to add there into the strumming. So the the part will be like this. Yeah. So that is basically two full strumming rounds for each chord there. So one for the C. Then one for the F, 
then again, one for C. And finally, one for F. And what I do there in the start there, I add this into the strumming. And this one on the F. Like this. So what I do there, I start with the C chord here. And I start in open position here when it comes to the D string. And then on the first down there, I hit the second fret on the D string, uh, which will be then the full C chord as it is. So, and then I just continue the strumming pattern there. So on the first down, I start in open position here on, uh, on the D string, and I just add. I hammer on the string here with my middle finger, which I will use for the C chord. So that's uh, just to get the first notes there and, and makes some difference actually in the start there. So. And, th and the same case goes here when it comes to the F, but here you need to um, be a bit faster here about uh, the switching here, cause the F here, it's usually here on the third fret on the D string, but we want this note on the second fret. So I start in position with only the first fret on the E string, third fret on the A string, and I hit the open D there on the first down. And then I add the second fret with my middle finger there. And then I continue strumming and I quickly change to a full F chord. So slowly it will be like this, if you can see. So again. Yeah, that's the way you need to do if you want these notes. And yeah, this is just an extra material, nothing to, um, to stay with or yeah, feel that you cannot make this. If you can't, if it's too uh, hard, then just go with the strumming. It's, it's about the details here. We're talking about details, so nothing that important. So go with full strummings if, uh, if, you, uh, if you feel like it's uh, not worth it. Yeah, so let's start with the actual song here. We have the first verse. And the chord progression here will be C, F, G. You will play full down uh, strumming patterns for these three first chords. And for the last two chords, the F and the C, you will only play part one. So the down, down, up, down, down, up for F, and then the same part one for the C. So it goes like this, starts with C, full strumming pattern. F, then G, then the first part on F, and the first part on C. And that is one round of the chord progression here in the first verse. You will play that for two rounds. So again, F. G, F, C. All right. Then we are at the pre-chorus here and in the lyrics, but then last night I saw a message on his phone. So that's the pre-chorus there. And the chords there will be D minor seven to F and then D minor to F. And you will play full strumming pattern for the first three chords, so the D minor seven, F, D minor, and on the last F there, you play only one down. So let's do it. F, D minor, and F, only one down. And that builds up for the first chorus. So, the chorus will be C, A minor, 
F, G, and you will play that for two rounds. So again, C, A minor, F, G, then you end on the C and F. And all these chords, it will play full strumming patterns here. So C, A minor, F, G, C, A minor, F, G, so two times, and then you end with C and F. So let's go through this. And again, C. F G and you end on C and F yeah so that's the chorus and then it starts again with the second verse you will play that in the same way as we played in the first verse there and then comes Right after that comes a chorus. So we don't have any more pre-courses in this song. So it comes a chorus right after. And this one is played in the same way. Two rounds of, um, of the C, A minor, F and G. And then in the end there, you will play a different way here. Instead of the C and F, you will play a full again of the C, A minor, F and G. Because there is also an, in the end there, there's an instrumental part. So you can say it's three rounds of the C, A minor, F and G in total there with the middle play there, instrumental parts after this course. Yeah, and that brings us to a break part or bridge. Uh, and this one, it's upon uh, built upon the same chords there. It's A minor, F. And then it goes back A minor F, so A minor F, A minor F. And uh, in the lyrics it's, oh, and I feel stupid, I feel cheap, I feel used, I feel weak. So that's the part there. So A minor F, A minor F, and you only play one down for each chord. So only like this, A minor, I feel cheap, I feel used. And I feel weak. So one down for each chord. And then comes third chorus there. It will play that in the same way as the first chorus. So two rounds of the A minor F, C and G only. Without the C and F in the end there. So almost like the first chorus. Two rounds of A, C, A minor, F and G. And then it ends with an outro there. Same there, C, A minor, F, and G. And then it ends with a C, only one downstroke there on the final chord there. So the outro will be like this. Yeah, and that ends this tutorial here on the song Never Wanted To Be That Girl. So yeah, good luck with this uh, country song here. And if you enjoyed it, if it was helpful, uh, which I really hope, then please let me know. Give me a thumb up here and let me know that I'm not working for nothing here. I want to help and I hope it did. So see you soon, guys. And don't forget, play tune.